Hi, I'm with Badger Basket, here to go through the assembly instructions for the English Country Doll High Chair and Bed Set. Before we get started, make sure you look at all the pieces included. If you're missing anything or have any damaged parts, please contact Badger Basket as shown in the end of the instructional video. So let's get started. For step one, you will need two of the A2s, which are the legs. You will need two of the A5s, which are the long rails. You will need two of the A8s, which are the short rails, and you will need eight of the A10 screws, which are the short screws. For this step, we're going to be assembling the legs of the high chair. When looking at the legs, you're going to see one side that has larger holes. These are where the rails are going to insert to match the other side to form that base for the high chair. So what we're going to be doing is looking at the four larger holes and the rails are going to insert into these holes. So the shorter rail will need to go on the top and you're going to gently but firmly kind of push them in and screw from the other side to hold those rails into place. So remember the two shorter rails will go on top, the larger longer rails will go on the bottom and we're going to screw them in. For this assembly I'm going to be using a drill to make it go a little bit faster. Feel free to use a hand Phillips screwdriver otherwise. If you use a drill Please remember to keep the torque settings on low so that you don't strip any of the pieces. So I'm going to insert in the small rail here. Again, gently but firmly. And then we're going to screw from this side the two short rails, the two longer rails. I'm going to match it up to the other side, putting them into those larger holes, and then screwing in from this side as well. So we're going to put all four of these pieces in together. For step two, you need part A1, which is the back, part A3, which is the seat, and two of the A10 screws, which are the short screws. For this step, we're going to be making the seat of the high chair. So with this piece, when you see these two bars here, those are going to be the bottom of the seat. So this is looking at the top of the seat. When looking at the top of the seat, you're going to see four screw holes. The back of the high chair are going to be coming out of these screw holes that are more narrow or closer together. The two that are further apart or more towards the edge of the seat are meant for later on. So we're going to be using these two narrow holes here where the back is going to screw into place. Now when looking at the back, you're going to see that there's two screw holes on each side. You're going to want the simple screw holes facing forward. If you see them where they're indented in, or a larger hole, that's going to be to the back of the high chair. So we'll want these smaller holes facing forward, and then going to these more narrow holes on the back of that seat. So these two holes on the seat are going to align with the two holes down here at the base of the back. So we're going to put this back, and it should have a little bit of an angle, and they'll align with those two holes. Now I'm going to kind of tip it upside down so that I can screw these into place from the underside of the seat. So I'm going to put these two shorter screws in under the bottom and screw that back in. For step three, you will need the right and left arm, which is part A6 and part A7. You will need part A4, which is the tray, and you will need two of the A9, which are the posts. You will need four of the A10 short screws and two of the S10 long screws. For this step, we're going to be assembling the tray and the arms of the high chair. First, what we're going to be doing is taking these posts and I'm going to screw these into place. These are going to go into those smaller holes of the seat that we did not use before. So these posts will just be set right on each of these holes and screwed from the underside going upward into that beveled hole there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of tip this up on its side so you can see a little bit. 
and I'm going to take the short screw and we're going to go from the underside up into that pre-drilled hole that's in the post. So I'm going to stick it through here and I'm going to screw both of these into place. So now we're going to put the arms onto the chair. Now when looking at the arms, you'll notice that there's a curved side. This is going to align with the posts of the back of the seat. A6 is going to be the left side when looking at the chair, the left arm here. So when you put this into place, there's kind of a beveled hole here which this post is going to sit into and then it's going to align with this back post of the back. Now if you have it on the wrong side, it will not snugly go against this post. If you do, the arm is going to be angled downward. So you should be able to tell that it's not the right side. It's not laying flat and it's not nicely aligning with this um, back of the post. So on this side, when you put it down, put it snugly into place where it aligns with that back, it should be flat for you. Now you're going to take the longer S10 screws and you're going to screw from the back here that will go through the pre-drilled hole of that arm to hold that arm into place. Now the easiest way to go about this is to put that screw through the back, align it with that hole so that you know you're in there, and then kind of push back a little bit so that it can get onto that post. So now it's snug and then we'll screw it into place and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. And for this arm, this is going to be your A7, which is going to be the right side when looking at the chair. Again, I'm going to put that long screw through the back, put it into the hole of the arm, and then get it so it goes over that post so it falls into place so the post is snugly held, and then we'll screw from the back. The last thing we're going to do is put the tray on top. When looking at the tray, you're going to see the two holes here. You want the side that has them beveled where the screw is going to be going down into. The smaller hole is going to be the underside, so we want that facing downward. These holes are going to align to the two holes here which go through the arms and to the posts. All the holes will align when you lay this tray here on top. You're going to take these small screws and you're going to screw from the top going down into both sides of that tray. For step four, you need the assembled legs, the assembled seat, and four of the short A10 screws. The last part of the high chair is just to put the seat onto the base. When looking at the seat, if you look on the underside, you've got these two wooden rails here. Those are going to be sitting on the inside of the legs. When looking at the legs, you're going to see these two wooden rails that are the highest ones up have screw holes going in through the sides. This is going to screw into those two wooden rails in the base to hold that seat into place. So when I put the seat on top here, we're going to want these two highest wooden rails to be on the side of the high chair, on the seat part itself. So we're going to put this down so that these two wooden rails go on the inside of the legs. Then you're going to align these two screw holes to the pre-drilled screw holes on the bottom of the seat. So we're going to put four of those short screws in and screw all four into place. For step five, you will need part B1, which is the end panel. You will need two of the B2, which are the sides, and you will need four of the S screws, which are the long screws. For this step, we're going to be putting the rails going off of the end panel. When looking at the end panel, you're going to see that there's two screw holes on each side. The side that has the smaller screw holes will be facing towards the inside of the bed. When looking at the other side, you're going to see larger beveled holes. This is going to go to the outside of the bed where the screw holes will be going in through. 
Now the smaller screw holes are where the side rails are going to be coming off from. When looking at the side rail, you should see one side that has this groove. This groove needs to go to the bottom and to the inside of the bed so that the grooves are facing towards each other when looking at the bed. So I'm going to put this first rail into place here. Again, these two screw holes here are going to align with the two screw holes here with that groove being at the bottom and facing towards the inside. So now I'm going to screw from the back. hold these rails into place. Now when screwing these rails on, you can use a Phillips hand screwdriver or you can use a drill. I'm going to use a drill to make this a little bit faster. If you choose to use a drill, please make sure that the torque settings are set on low so that you don't strip any of the pieces. So I'm going to screw both of these rails into place. And do the same thing on the other side. Again, having that groove to the bottom and facing towards the inside of the bed. For step six, you need part B3, which is the bottom. For this step, we're going to be putting in the bottom into the bed to serve as the bottom of the bed. Again, if you put these rails in correctly, where these grooves are facing towards each other, this is where that bottom panel is going to slide down into place. When looking at the bottom panel, one side will be white. You're going to want this side facing upward. The brown side will be facing downward to the bottom of the bed. To make this step a little bit easier, I'm going to tip up this piece here so that I can just slide this down into those grooves all the way down. Just make sure you have it in the grooves on both sides and then make sure you have it down as far as it can go. For step seven, you need part B1, which is the end panel, and four of the S long screws. Next, what we're gonna be doing is putting on the last end panel onto this end here. Again, remember looking at the end panel, the larger beveled holes will go to the outside. The smaller holes are where the rails are gonna be coming off from facing towards the inside of the bed. So it's gonna be going like so, where those two holes on each side will be aligning with the two holes on the rails. To make this a little easier, I'm going to tip it up on its side and then I'm just going to lay this piece on top and align all four of those holes going downward and screw all four down into place. For step eight, you need part B6, B5, and B4 which are the fabric pad, fabric pillow, and the fabric blanket. And for the last step, what you're going to be doing is putting all of the accessories into the bed. First, we're going to put down this padded piece. This will serve as the bottom of the fabric pad of the bed, the fabric pillow, and lastly, the fabric blanket. And you are all set. And that concludes the assembly for the English Country Doll High Chair and Bed Set. Remember, if you have any questions or concerns, to please contact Badger Basket as shown in the next clip. Badger Basket thanks you for watching and enjoy.